John. Jesus is coming soon, guys, for the rapture, and I mean real soon. I just want to show you some more stuff in this video, just showing how much closer we are to the Lord's return. Uh, we're watching for the Lord Jesus Christ's return on this channel, and he's so close now, so close, I do believe. A lot of people are getting frustrated. Don't get frustrated, guys. Don't give up at the last. You want to be watching for the Lord's return. Like I say in a lot of my videos, the Lord Jesus says he has a crown of righteousness laid up for all those who love his appearing and watching for his return, for the Lord Jesus' return, for the rapture. And make sure you're saved by Jesus and right with him when he comes. Be repentant of your sins when you make mistakes of sin. Repent, repent, repent. I can't stress enough. And also, guys, uh, I was going to do a video on the... Uh, uh, someone had asked me to do a video on the Mark of the Beast I had done. I told in a video about how I had it ready and what was going on with that. And I, I apologize to you if you're listening. I, I will do it as soon as possible. i just seen all this other stuff uh, going on, uh, and I figured I better do it on this. And I was I did the video yesterday, and uh, the same video pretty much as I'm doing now, but it, I changed some stuff around, a lot of stuff around it. But I want to show you how the coronavirus is spreading, and it's ridiculous what they're doing. And... Uh, but I did a video yesterday, and for a minute and like 50-some seconds, not even not even a full two minutes, they blocked the video on copyright uh, because of copyright issue because they said, and it was only showing what the nurses was going through. Uh, we need to pray for the nurses, guys. They're going through a lot. You wouldn't believe what they're going through. I'll do that in another video, maybe show you what they're what's going on with them and China, nurses in China, hospitals and stuff. They have to wear diapers. They can't even go to the bathroom. And use the bathroom in their diapers, a lot of them. A lot of them do. They don't even let them use the bathroom. They have to use it. Have to, every one of them has the hospital supplies and diapers, and they have to wear diapers and and not and uh, work all through it. Their shift work long hours and everything, and their faces are horrible looking where they got them masks on so long where they're uh, black under their eyes where they ain't slept, and their face masks make places on them where they wire them so tight trying to keep them getting that coronavirus. And... Uh, they blocked a video I did trying to bring people to the Lord Jesus Christ so they might get saved by Jesus in these last days. And, you know, uh, and that's horrible just for a minute and 52 seconds, just showing uh, that little bit of that video of the, of the workers, of the nurses in the hospital. Uh, it didn't show nothing else, just the nurses and maybe a doctor where they was working so hard. I mean, it's crazy. They'll have to answer for that one day unless they repent of it. If you're watching this video and you don't want to block that video, and they blocked it worldwide too. If you don't want to block the video, I would strongly suggest you repent of it. I'm not judging you. I'm a horrible sinner myself, and I've done horrible things in my life, horrible. And I pray for God's mercy, God Yahweh and Jesus, and Jesus' Son's mercy, for I'm a horrible sinner. We all are sinners, but the... We need to repent when we sin, though. We need to try to turn from our own sins. When we do make mistakes sin, we need to repent of our sins. And uh, I make mistakes all the time. And I repent when I sin. But I would repent if I was the person that done that for stopping me doing a video, try to bring people to the Lord Jesus just for a minute and 52 seconds, or 50 some seconds, a minute and 50 some seconds. That's crazy. And also, my internet has been cutting on and off, on and off. Uh, constantly. Is anybody else having trouble with that? I know one other brother in Christ. No, I don't know if he's a brother in Christ, actually. He may not be from what I've heard. I don't know. I don't know if he believes in the Lord because he believes in uh, Neanderthals and stuff like that. And I was like, what? And he believes that we went through, the people went through all these changes. Like, well, I guess he believes in they went from apes to people. That's crazy. The Lord didn't make a monkey change the man. He made he made man and he made gorilla some man you know different beings and monkeys he didn't make a monkey to change into a man or a gorilla to change into a man that's crazy that's so stupid that people believe that nonsense but uh but he said he's been having trouble with his internet cutting in off really bad too if you've had that problem, please put it in comments and tell me about it. I was just wondering. I don't know if they're doing it to attack me. They can't stand me doing these videos. That's why they blocked that one yesterday, and that was silly to block it for that, I guess. 
or it might have been, and then they've been making it hard to download these coronavirus videos and everything, and now they're blocking my internet connection constantly, or, or I figure it's probably that Planet X coming in. If, there, if everybody's having that problem, it's probably Planet X coming in so close, it's interfering with the internet and stuff. Please put it in the comments if you are having problems. I'm going to go ahead and start the video now. Hang on, guys. I apologize. Previously. Israeli Armed Forces has concluded two separate exercises to prepare for an all-out multi-front war. Repent, world. Repent. For the king himself is coming. Yes. I, Jesus, am coming. Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Watch ye therefore, and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. I think that last verse had changed that uh, part. I'm not sure, but I believe it had a little bit. Let me go ahead and start the next video, guys. You know, our Bibles are being changed supernaturally. We're in the time of the great deception. The true word of God is spiritual. It'll never change, It'll never change but the physical word in the Bibles are changing. They're doing it with that large head on collider or the quantum computers or both. And black magic's involved in it, which those, those quantum computers and uh, the Large Hadron Collider is fallen angel technology, sort of like black magic, because it's, it's like conjuring demons, I believe. It does some very strange stuff. All right, let me go ahead and start the next one. All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to Hacking the Headlines. So I came across this commercial from AARP. It was released back in 2014. It has since been unlisted on their channel, but you can still watch it if you have the link. Now it's really kind of creepy and concerning because it seems to contain a subliminal message in it about the government declaring martial law because of an outbreak. Uh, now I think most of us are aware of what What's going on right now with what started in China and is now spreading across the world in a possible pandemic type of situation. Uh, I have to be careful with what I say. I'm trying not to get in trouble with the algorithm. There's been a lot of videos that have been deleted uh, with people who talk about this stuff. So, but yeah, anyway, this commercial on the surface seems very normal. Uh, it's about a mother who is caregiving for both her child and her mother, her aging mother at the same time. And it's only when you isolate it and turn up the volume, you can hear what is being said in the background. So first, I will just play the commercial normally, and like I said, you really can't hear it, but then uh, we'll break it down, and I'll show you guys what is being said in the background here. Just take a listen.
In your new role, we help you help. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving for information on how to provide even better care for the person who wants to care of you. Okay, so that's just a normal commercial. Okay, guys, do you hear all that in the background there? Wasn't well, that something? I'm just, ki- I'm just kidding, guys. I won't play the rest of it. She's going to let you hear it better. She turns up the volume somehow in the background and lets you hear that, what they're saying. Show about caregiving, right? Well, wrong. This is what was said in the background. Uh, it says, riots nationwide have prompted local governments to declare martial law. Authorities are working to contain the outbreak. So I'm going to go ahead and play it for you. It's from the beginning of the commercial. Make sure your volume is up and you will be able to hear what was actually said. Okay, so it's still kind of hard to hear, but you can definitely make out what is being said. Authorities are working to contain the outbreak and that they're declaring martial law. So I really don't know what to make out of this. I mean, there could be other explanations other than, you know, a case of predictive programming. You know, this could just simply be a marketing team that was bored that day and decided to put in, you know, a little inside joke into this commercial. But, you know, people have caught on to it and maybe that's why they unlisted it on their channel because they did not expect people to hear what was being said in the background. So it could simply be, like I said, just a case of people having an inside joke. But it does seem a little strange that, you know, what we're seeing going on, especially in China, with the largest quarantine in human history, millions upon millions of people are being locked down inside their houses in what we would call a massive declaration of martial law, and it could be coming to a town near you soon. And I'm not saying it's going to, you know, this whole thing could just be fear propaganda, you know, trying to get people afraid um, so they're more easily controlled. You know, I do think that there is... She uh, says stuff like it. They're just doing it. Might just be that, but uh, they're doing it. We know why they're doing that stuff. Yeah, we know the truth, but um, she tries to sort of sometimes thinks it ain't something uh, bad they're doing. Like she says, it could be something not meaning nothing about it, but they, we know what they're up to, guys. And it ain't good. And they want to put everybody in FEMA camps. And, you know, eventually, when Obama comes back, I believe he's the Antichrist, they'll be making, or when the Antichrist comes back, whoever it is, which I believe is Obama, I'm not sure, though. I'm like 99%. I feel like I'm 99% sure, anyways. When he comes back in, they'll be making, when you take the Mark of Beast, or they'll cut your head off. Do not take the mark of the beast, let them cut your head off and keep praising the Lord Jesus and you'll wake up in the arms of the Lord in heaven. All right, guys, and uh, they're doing a lot of agendas with this coronavirus, but let me go ahead and see about the next video. I was going to show you this. Well, let me show you a little bit of this one. Oh, and actually, I need to go back to that one. I need to, there's some more things I was going to show you on it. I also wanted to share this because this is kind of along the same lines. Uh, This is from a 1981 novel by Dean Koontz called The Eyes of Darkness, which seemed to predict what we see going on today in China, almost to a T. So this book is all about a biological weapon that was created. Uh, But not only that, they actually call the weapon, the virus, Wuhan 400. Uh, Here it says they call the stuff Wuhan 400. 
400 because it was developed at their RDNA labs outside of the city of Wuhan, and it was the 400th viable strain of man-made microorganisms created at that research center. Wuhan 400 is a perfect weapon. It's pretty uncanny that it's called Wuhan 400. Uh, it originated in Wuhan or right outside of Wuhan at a research center. It is a created biological weapon, which many people believe uh, what we're seeing today is also something that was created in a lab. Now, just to be fair, I will show uh, what the mainstream media is saying about this, and you can kind of get their slant on it. This is from CTV News. It says, no, Dean Koontz did not predict this in 1981 thriller novel. It says, a passage from author Dean Koontz's 1981 fictional novel, The Eyes of Darkness, has gone viral for purport. Uh, she tries to uh, take up from a lot. I don't know why, because they're... She must not see the evil that's going on here, but <clears throat> let me go ahead and start the next section. change occurred. From what we can tell, the biological weapon was originally called Gorky 400 when this book was published in 1981, but by 2008, the name had been changed to Wuhan 400. So they're saying that, you know, when the book was first published in 1981, it was called Gorky 400, and that around 2008, for some reason, uh, Dean Koontz, I guess, decided to rename it Wuhan 400. But that just makes it even more more suspicious, don't you think, that he would just suddenly change uh, where this, you know, biological weapon originated from? He changed it from Gorky to Wuhan. But, you know, there are some differences, like they pointed out. Okay, I ain't going to play all that because she takes up for them. She always tries to make it seem like maybe they're not doing nothing wrong, but we know what they're doing, like I said, guys. All right, um... Now, I'll see if about this one. Let's see. If. Okay, let me go and start this. Welcome to the final days. Today is February 21, 2020. Today's video will be short, just to bring you some breaking news. This information is provided by Mike from around the world. Now, if you've done seen this video, it lasts about 6 minutes and 40 seconds. So you can fast forward six minutes and 40 seconds from here or about six minutes and 30 seconds. And then just uh, if it's a little bit early, you can wait. Or if it's a little bit past, you can back up just a hard bit. Which is a cover name for a person who works in military intelligence. Mike from around the world appears from time to time on the Paul Bagley channel. And last night, Thursday, February 20th, Mike advised us that over 750,000 troops from various countries are all gathering in the Middle East. This is going on right now. They are still gathering and getting set up for battle. It is possible that this number could approach 1 million before everything's done. Mike was not able to elaborate on any further details or reasons for the massive gathering of armies. This relates to end times Bible prophecy. The Bible's book of Revelation, chapter 16, describes an end time gathering of many different armies at a place called Armageddon. In this passage from the King James Version, the bowls represent different judgments being poured out upon the earth. The sixth bowl is where the Euphrates River dries up. And I'll read this. Then the sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates, and its water was dried up, so that the way of the kings from the east might be prepared. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs coming out of the mouth of the dragon, out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are spirits of demons performing signs, which go out to the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them for battle of that great day of the God Almighty." Behold, I am coming as a thief. Blessed is he who watches and keeps his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. 
and they gathered them together to the place called in Hebrew Armageddon. And then the seventh bowl discusses the fact that the earth is utterly shaken with a large earthquake. Then the seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air, and a loud voice came out of the temple of heaven from the throne, saying, It is done. And there were noises and thunderings and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such a mighty and great earthquake as had not occurred since men were on the earth. Now the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell. And great Babylon was remembered before God to give her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. Then every island fled away, the mountains were not found, and great hail from heaven fell upon men, each hailstone about the weight of a talent. That's about a hundred pounds. Men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail, since that plague was extremely great. Now remember the earthquake just mentioned in Revelation 16. We will come back to that in just a minute. This animation of the solar system starts on February 22nd, tomorrow. Notice where the Earth is on February 22nd. And then in mid-May of this year, Earth will come close to a highly magnetic celestial anomaly, that's the blue object, that several scientists around the world have been tracking for years. It has now traveled into our solar system. This celestial object, shown just a minute ago, the one that we just saw uh, in the clip from the FAA weather camera, that is part of a planetary system that accompanies this highly magnetic celestial object. The round blue ball on the screen represents the approximate location, it's just approximate, of this highly magnetic celestial anomaly that Earth is moving toward as we travel around the Sun. We won't collide with it, but we will be passing by this object close enough for it to cause an upswing in earthquakes and volcanic activity. Exactly how much of an increase is currently unknown. It's entirely possible that the powers that be will use war as a cover for the resulting destruction so that the public doesn't find out they've known about this for years. I find it very interesting that Revelation chapter 16 describes a very large number of troops amassing in the Middle East right before a horrendous earthquake. And here we are today with at least 750,000 troops amassing in the Middle East as Earth moves toward a highly magnetic celestial anomaly that leaves a path of destruction in its wake through the galaxy. This is I was going to play the rest of it, but that's uh, Planet X and uh, Wormwood in the Bible. Uh, but guys, if you uh, fast forwarded to six minutes, I'm, I'm stopped it at five minutes and 30 seconds. So I hope you rewind back to this part a little bit. And because I got, I'm trying to, I only got so much memory. Now here's one thing I was wanting to show you. Uh, actually, let me go to something else first. Okay, guys, I want you to see this. This is actually, they're doing this. They're boarding up not just one house here and there in China. They're doing awful things. And people, look at this. Watch this video, how they're boarding up all the houses around. And people's in them. And they're having to pull buckets up to their house. The people's locked in the apartments, like the high-up apartments. They're having to... Uh, have people that's walking down the street help them and bring them food and water and they're dropping down buckets with a rope pulling it. I was going to show you a video of that. I don't, I don't have time, I don't think, though. And they're putting water and food in their buckets so they don't starve to death and thirst to death. And, uh, you know, you got to have water and food. And they're putting it in their buckets and they're lifting it up to their balconies. That's all they can get out to is on their balconies high, high off the ground. They can't get out other than on the balconies up high up. And uh, they got all the doors blocked and all the bottom stuff blocked where they can't get out. 
and they're having to bring them food and water and pull it up to them. Look how they got these place always blocked off. That's just cool. Oh. Oh, let me back it up. I'm sorry, I didn't show the bottom. Come on. Isn't that horrible? Every one of them. He said as far as you want to walk, they're all done like that. Come on. He said he gets tired of walking, showing all of them. He said if he kept walking, he'd still be like that, all down through there. People are stuck in them, locked in them places now. Those apartments or whatever they are. Houses, apartments, condos, whatever they are. What if I need the emergency and go to the hospital or to have a coronavirus? You know all them people don't have a coronavirus. If they do, that's all. You know all them don't have a coronavirus. They're locking everybody down, it looks like. In some places. I was going to back it up just a little bit. I was going to see something what he said there. Oh, he actually takes up for him too. I can't believe that they, he actually... They think that the government is not <laughs> and not got uh, evil intentions and stuff. It's, uh, they're, they're, you know all those people. He said if an outbreak can't be controlled unless they do it. You know that they can't. Come on now, guys. You know they ain't. Uh, they ain't all them people got that. They don't have to lock everybody in their homes. They shouldn't do that to anybody anyways. I don't know why all these people take up for the evil that's going on. It's ridiculous. Like I said, we know the truth on this channel, what's going on. And now I want you to see this. This is how they're spreading this. It is ridiculous. Okay. See, so yeah, watch how they're spreading this. And I ain't going to have time to show you all the videos. I had about, I had more showing even more people than this. Quite a few more was doing the same thing. But I ain't going to have time to show them. He slung slobber all over. He spit and sl slung it all over is what it looked like to me. This woman spits on the on the elevator buttons. They seem to be a lot of people spreading it by spitting on the elevator buttons or wiping spit on it and doing everything to spread it. I think they're MK Ultra mind control. What do you, you see him? He's, he's spitting his hand wiping it on the elevator button. There's another one spitting on them. Elevator buttons. I don't, I don't know if these people probably are MK Ultra mind controlled to do this to spread this, spread it around. Watch him. He threw all kinds of stuff before with that on it. All these people have got the coronavirus. He pulls out Kleenexes or something and puts them back in there. It looks like Kleenexes. I don't know. And puts the spits on them, puts it back in there. Now she's going, she still does that. This woman here doing this, 
they have cameras that can pick up and everything in China. I mean, they have a artificial intelligence. They see exactly what you do in China, and they can see who you are by by artificial intelligence. Check. They can. It does facial measurements to tell you are. Well, that woman I showed you there before this part. See what they're doing. She got arrested. For it. They actually saw a video of her getting arrested, walking down the street right after. Right after that. Oh, did you see that? That guy, uh, the hospital told him he didn't have uh, medicine, and he spit all over the place there. See, uh, patients who spit with medical staff says they have no medicine. See there? That's just crazy and stupid that people don't want to spread the virus, but I guess they're very frustrated with the government and frustrated how they're treated and like, yeah, the hospitals are crowded, they can't get medicine. Uh, like, yeah, they just figure they're going to die, so I don't know. It's just, it's just, it still doesn't make any sense. It's stupid. That's an insane mentality. If I'm going to die, you're all going to die. I came across this footage from Karina Jones, another YouTuber. So yeah, shout out to them, and you guys know what to do. Like this video, subscribe, and God bless everybody. And if it does come out here, I hope people don't do that, because it's just absolutely disgusting. And if I see it... Okay. You believe that, guys? And I was going to show you a lot more of them, quite a few more of them doing it. Either that, either it's MK Ultra Mind Control, the New World Order, doing it to cut down on population and do all their agendas they're going to do, like take away paper money and mark of the beast, uh, make you, uh, the mark of the beast electronic money uh, come in because they're saying it's uh, infected with that coronavirus paper money. They're burning them like millions of dollars, by the hundred millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars. They're burning it. People are making airplanes out and throw down windows. I showed them one of my videos. Lots of money. And let's see what else was I want to show you guys. Oh, let me show you this first. We're just talking about all those troops over there. 750,000, almost a million, maybe a million now. Uh, Netanyahu threatens all out war after 90 rockets fired from Gaza. Monday witnessed a significant escalation over Gaza as Palestinian Islamic, Islamic Jihad sought to uh, avenge the deaths of three commanders killed in Israeli airstrikes on Gaza and Damascus the day before. Israeli media counted some 90 total rockets fired at Israel from the Gaza Strip throughout the day since the attacks began Sunday night with the IDF claiming it's from its Iron Dome defense system had intercepted the vast majority, which came near populated areas. There's a picture. That says, Israeli airstrike on Gaza City on Monday, February 24th. Uh, and then Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had earlier threatened to Initiate broader war if the rocket didn't uh, fire didn't cease. Despite an Islamic Jihad spokesman announcing a unilateral ceasefire by uh, the early evening, the rocket fire was reported as continuing later into the night Monday. Uh, we are now hitting with planes, tanks, and helicopters. Netanyahu said while inspecting an Iron Dome unit. In the south, just say inspecting. Yeah, uh, I'm talking about a war, Netanyahu, who is entering a final week of campaigning before Israeli national elections. Had further told Israel's army radio station, "I only go to war as a last option, but we have prepared something you can't even imagine." Just something.
So we're so close to Ezekiel 38, 39, and World War III, and America probably destroyed before that. So America's getting ready to get wiped out, says in the one hour. So probably by nuclear weapons, America will be destroyed, and can't, Israel won't be able to call on America. They'll have to call on the Lord, and the Lord comes down and helps them. But unfortunately, a lot of Israel will be destroyed. They'll attack from northern Israel right where uh, Russia and Turkey and Iran are at northern Israel's border right now. Getting ready to attack Israel. And they don't have no king as of yet, as, as far as I know. And so they, that's a good time they'll probably attack why they ain't got a king in Israel. The Bible talks about that in Malachi, Malachi or something. Oh, let's see here. Well, I don't know why I showed that. I wasn't what I was going to show yet, but... But Revelation 12, 3, 3, 4 is about Planet X, the Red Dragon. But uh, let's see. Have I got time to show this? I hope I do. I probably don't, but I'm going to try to. Let me see here. Hang on, guys. I'm sorry. I'm working on it. I want you to see this. These farmers have... Let me let you read it. With villages closed and roads blocked, not only has livestock starved to death, but the farmers are, folk, are forced to dump excess goods because they have no way to send it out. The economy's getting ready to crash. It dropped another. It dropped a thousand points, I think it was yesterday, and I, it's horrible. And all the signs are that, uh, I mean, people that knows about the stock market money, they're all saying it's getting ready to crash big time. And other signs they that's going on that they see that knows about all that stuff. I ain't got no money in the stock market. I'm poor, but it wouldn't affect me either way. But it will. It would the economy and a lot of people and. Uh, their 401ks and stuff, retirement. Okay, now watch this. The rest of it. look, at these people, the farmers are crying over. They're crying over this. And I don't blame them. They work hard for that. And they have to dump it all. That's horrible. We need to pray for them farmers. Please, Lord, help them farmers. Help them make it, Lord, and be with them, Lord. They had to dump all their crops. That's an awful waste of food. What a waste of food and people starving all over the world. Looks like they could have made a way to send that out for them. Oh, let me read on that. I'm sorry. Hang on, guys. Okay, let me back, let's see, go to another part. If I got time. Check this out. They are, uh, we'll read this first. China's response to H5N1 bird flu outbreak in Henan province. 17,830 chickens have been coiled in a bed to contain the virus. Now check this out, what they're doing. They're dumping them in this and hoeing, burn, burying them alive in China. They're doing all kinds of stuff in China, crazy stuff. That's horrible, guys. Dumping them poor old live chicks. And ducks and everything they're doing that too. And then burying them alive. which has a human mortality rate of more than 50 percent. They just bury them alive. See that? Check it out, guys. Ain't that horrible? There, they're getting ready to arrest somebody that had reported too much information. Love you guys. Bye.